So let's say you have a commercial flight tomorrow. You want to wear your work boots, but your work boots don't look very good, and you got upgraded. So what do you do? Now I'm going to buy new boots. I really like these boots. Um, we'll just restore them. So very quick video while I'm waiting for my laundry to finish on restoring boots. So all of the products I'm using today are going to be in the description, so you can put away your pencil and paper, no need to take notes. Um, we're going to start with cleaning. Because I do a lot of um, polishing, there's usually polish residue and paint residue on my boots. So um, to get all that off, I'm using the Color Lock Mild Leather Cleaner, as well as their um, scrub brush. So the, their brush has the perfect stiffness, so it, it really gets in there and cleans, but it doesn't damage the leather. Um, just using microfiber towel afterwards to wipe it off. And you can see that actually does a really good job of getting all that paint off. However, because I also creep around underneath airplanes a lot, there's also a lot of scuffs on these boots. So because of that, um, to make them look good, we're gonna have to repaint them. Most leather, um, you have your cow skin, then there's a paint layer, and then in some cases there's a clear coat layer on top of that. So we're, we're restoring the paint layer. Um, using some isopropyl alcohol to degrease the boots before painting. Um, then we're using Leather Fresh, which is a one-step touch-up product. And um, after shaking it well, you can see I'm just dabbing it on what looks like a um, pluck and foam piece. Um, if you actually buy the color lock, they give you foam with it. But um, the key is to put multiple light layers on. So you just put a little bit of paint on there, sponge it on there, get an even texture, even coat, and then um, dry it, hit it with a hair dryer, and then repeat. If you're using a heat gun like I am, just turn it down, um, make sure you don't melt your boots. That wouldn't be good. So you could do the whole thing with a sponge. Um, I just wanted to show you how you can do it. I'm gonna use an airbrush instead. If you want to spend three times what the boots are worth on an airbrush set, the set is in the description, but um, I'm using a Grex airbrush, just putting the paint straight in there. I forgot to flush out the solvent that was in the airbrush, so you can see this first coat goes on super wet. Um, it's not ideal, but again, this video is to show you just how easy and foolproof it is to do this. I'm not even bothered by it. I'm just spraying it on and um, Although normally we want a thin initial layer because there's solvent in here, it's technically a thin layer. Then we just dry it off and uh, repeat. We want to put multiple thin layers on there to give it the coverage we desire. You also notice I'm not doing any kind of masking. Um, the whole thing is black. I, I'm not gonna spend time masking. But again, this is a 30 minute fix up here, so. Um, if your soles were white, obviously you may want to do some masking, but in this case, we just go right over it. it you can't even tell it got painted. If anything, it looks better. So the heels are really beat up here. Um, I'm just painting them, but if you had gouges or you had texture issues, there's a product called Fluid Leather, which is, um, think of it as Bondo for your shoes. So you would fill that in first, you can get a color match to black, um, and then you would paint on top of that. For what I'm doing, you know, this is, this is gonna be fine. You gotta keep in mind, I have bright lights on these boots, I'm overexposing the camera to really show you everything. Um, when you're wearing these, it's, you know, whether you put filler on there or not, it's not gonna make a huge difference. Now I've actually repainted these boots multiple times using this process. Um, it turns out great every time. I Maybe at some point I'll start actually filling in gouges, but for what I need, it's, it works great this way. So here's the second boot. You can see a much more conservative first pass, dry it out, and then um, just keep layering on there.
One of the tricks you can do if you have um, if you have kind of a larger area like this is once you get a little bit of paint on there, just like pull and release the trigger quickly like that. And, and basically what you're doing is you're splattering paint on. And as it dries, it helps mimic that leather texture. And you can do this with a sponge as well, obviously. Um, but that just kind of helps break up the texture issues that we have back here. Again, if we didn't have spotlights on there, you probably wouldn't see it. I really love these boots though. They are they wear just like sneakers. They're really lightweight. They don't get super hot. Um, they're not dress up boots, but after you, uh, after you recondition them here, you know, they don't look out of place in, in an airline lounge or something like that. So after, uh, after everything's touched up, I just like to give it one more spray to even out any texture and um, let it dry and get back in service. So again, here's the products we used, mild leather cleaner, color lock brush. I use leather cleaning spirit, you can use alcohol, and there's uh, leather fresh, and this was uh, color code 34, which is just straight black. So hopefully you got to see just how foolproof this process is. I, again, did this in under 30 minutes. It would have been faster if I wasn't filming. Results are good, durability is good, and when you scuff it up again, you just touch it up again. Um, you know, it's no big deal. Thanks for watching. Hope you learned something, and um, let me know if you have any questions. Have a good day.